Premium Bullet List Widget is the first Elementor widget that enables you to create a bullet list with Lottie animations. Download it from the link in the description and let's learn how to use it. Drag Premium Bullet List Widget and drop it into the desired section. As you can see, Premium Bullet List has three list items by default. I will add one more list item to make it four. Then I will give each one of them a title. And now let's discover the options in Elementor Icon List Widget. Show Icon option will give you the ability to show or hide the icon in each list item separately. There are four bullet types you can choose from. Font Awesome Icon, Custom Image, Lottie Animation, or Text. Number 1. Font Awesome Icon. It's selected by default. You can choose the icon you find suitable. Number 2. Image. You can use it in case you want to use your own custom image. Number 3. Lottie Animation. As you can see, three options appear. Animation JSON URL, Loop, and Reverse. First, let's go and find a Lottie Animation file to use it here in our example. Open LottieFiles.com and search for the animated file that meets your needs. In this example, I will search using the keyword Send. This one is good. Remove the background color, then copy the Lottie Animation URL and paste it into the Animation JSON URL field. Loop option will make the Lottie file work continuously. If disabled, the Lottie file will work once only. Reverse option will make the Lottie animation file work backward. Number 4 in bullet types is Text option. Let's explore it. Now, let's try to create a complete bullet list example. I will use Lottie Animations as a bullet type for all list items. Then we will proceed to discover the rest of the widget options. Link option will give you the ability to add a link to the list item. You can choose between a custom link or an existing page. The Badge option allows you to add a small badge beside this item list and manage its color. Let's see. Want to make a specific list item stand out from the others? Use Override Global Style Controls to adjust the list item size. In addition, the title and background colors for both normal and hover modes. And now, let's jump to the Display options. You have the ability to display or hide the list overflow. In this example, I will make it visible. Choose from Block or Inline as a layout type. Block will list the items underneath each other as it currently appears, while Inline will make it listed beside each other on the same line. Align your list items to the left, center, or right using the Alignment option. Icon Position will give you the ability to place the icon before, after, or at the top of your list items. Let's take a look. Align the badges to the left or right using Badge Alignment option. 
Enable the divider option to separate between your list items. It works perfectly with both block and inline layout types. Icon connector option will add a vertical line to connect between icons, images, or text. Switching on the Animation option will open the door to add an entrance animation to your list items. Then you will be able to adjust the animation duration by deciding whether you want to make it slow, normal, or fast. In addition, you can control the animation delay between each list item using the Animation Delay In Between option. Select from Blur, Grow, or Text Gradient as a hover effect for the list items. Let's see how each one of them looks. Now, I will give my bullet list some style. Let's see if the widget needs to be adjusted on responsive screens. Wow, it looks pretty good now. Remember, you can download premium add-ons for Elementor plugin for free and enjoy using 22 absolutely free widgets, including this one. I hope you found this video useful, as we are planning to do more Elementor widget tutorial videos like this. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap the bell so you don't miss our next videos. Until then, we would love to hear from you. Please don't hesitate to share your feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.